ready to conquer negative decimals in physics graph? Then stick around as we break down step by step. Let's dive in. Now let's assume we've conducted a physics experiment and we've obtained the following data. And we are required to plot a graph with log d on the vertical axis and log m on the horizontal axis. As we can see, all the values are negative and decimals. Let's see how we can plot this graph. Now plot a graph with log d on the vertical axis and log m on the horizontal axis. So we need the values of log d. So for the values of log d, we convert it to standard form for easy plotting by moving this point 1, 2 and recording this value as negative 192 times 10 is going to negative 2. So we have log d slash 10 is going to negative 2, meaning the value here when we multiply by 10 is going to negative 2, we will get this value. So the next value is going to be negative 160. The next one is negative 143, negative 130, and negative 120. For the values of log M2, we move the point 1, 2, and the first value becomes negative 130 times 10 is going to negative 2. So the next one will be negative 100, negative 83, negative 70, and negative 60. So we plot these values on the graph. So we draw the vertical and horizontal axis. Remember that all the values are negative. So we are going to use the negative axis both the vertical and horizontal axis are all negative we are plotting log d on the vertical axis and log m on the horizontal axis so we choose a scale we will choose a scale of 2 centimeters is to 20 times 10 is going to negative 2 on log d axis and 2 centimeters is to 20 times 10 is going to negative 2 on log m axis. So we start from 0, next 20, negative 40, negative 60, negative 80, negative 100 negative 120 and so on. And on log m axis two, we start from zero, neck 20, neck 40, negative 60, negative 80. Each big box is 20, and so 20 divided by 10 is two. So each small box is going to be two. And this should guide us to plot the graph. For the first value on log d, we have negative 192, and log m, we have negative 130. So negative 130 will be between negative 120 and negative 140. And negative 192, that will be between negative 180 and negative 200 we have negative 190 so we'll move one more box and they will meet here the next one negative 160 on log d is here and negative 100 is also here so they will meet here the next one negative 143 so this is negative 140. One box will be negative 142. So in the middle of the next box will be negative 143. And 83, this is 80. One box will make it 82. And in the middle of the next box will be 83. 
they will meet here. And the next one, negative 130 on the vertical axis, that will be between negative 120 and negative 140. And negative 70 will be between negative 60 and negative 80, and they will meet here. The next one, negative 120 on log D axis is here, and negative 60 is also here, and they will meet at this point. So we draw the line of best fit. Calculate the slope S of the graph. So we draw this horizontal and vertical line and label it A here, B and C. The slope is changing BC over changing AB. And for changing BC, we have negative 98 minus negative 200 times 10 is minus negative 2. And for change in AB, we have negative 40 minus this is negative 138 times 10 is minus negative 2. So times 10 is minus negative 2 can cancel out. And negative 98 minus negative 200 is 102. Negative 40 minus negative 138 is 98. And when we divide 102 by 98, we have 1.04. And that is the slope.